Guys, it's a wicked fast Wednesday today. What do I mean by that? This video is gonna be super quick or wicked fast. Thanks for coming back, guys. I just have a, a quick video for you. Part of this channel is to help you guys out in you know, filmmaking, sports highlight video making, and then also you know, fitness is another passion of mine right now. And so if I can share some fitness tips, I wanna do that. So today I'm sharing a fitness tip with you, except for it's not really me sharing the tip, it's one of my buddies sharing how to improve your deadlift, especially your, your grip strength. So I'm gonna hand over the reins to him, and I know the video is a little bit short, but I hope that those of you that have come to this video to try to improve your grip strength, that this will be beneficial to you. This kid has is pulling in the high 500s right now, and in this August meet, he's planning to pull in the 600s. So, I mean, that's some heavy weight. So if you're pulling less than that, then this can definitely help improve your deadlift. So we'll go over to Sean, and that will probably be it, guys. Today was just like a little deload day for me for deadlift because we maxed out last week, and I was feeling terrible about my training this week, and so I just wanted to hit some grip work and some uh, lockout work. So those are the weakest points in the deadlift, and so uh, I just did some rack pulls with some holds at the top just to isolate that up movement so I don't hitch anymore and so I can get my hands a little bit stronger with that little five second hold at the end there. I would suggest that for anybody that struggles like I do with deadlift. It's my weakest lift, but I'm working on it. And uh, if you need lockout and grip work, I, I'd highly suggest doing the, uh, the rack pull for the hold. So there you have it, Wicked Fast Wednesday, guys. Super quick video, hope it was beneficial. Thanks for coming in. It's crazy that I just have one more day after this to do a video for my month of May challenge. I will continue to put out content about sports videography, making highlights. I'll be sharing some fitness tips. Like I said, it's one of my passions. And I think there's a few other things that are in the works that I'm you know, been thinking about and that I'm getting excited about. They're not totally um, put together yet, so that's why I'm not gonna share them right now, but you know, hopefully in the next few days, I will share some exciting stuff. But thanks again for coming by, and catch y'all tomorrow.